Hi guys, it's lovely to see you all, if only I could, um, but it's lovely to be with you here on the virtual jam on the website. Um, this, for this week's Godslot, we are going to be starting the first of a long series over the next sort of nine or ten weeks over this term leading up to Christmas. We're going to look at a really famous story from the Bible called the Beatitudes. Now that's a really big word and it sounds really strange, but hopefully you'll get to understand what it means over the coming weeks. And it's the story of a sermon that Jesus gave where he went up on a mountainside so that everybody could see him and hear what he had to say. And he gave them a message all about how he would like to see them be as people, what he would like their characters to be like. And we're going to look at it in a bit more detail over the next few weeks. But today is just a kind of introduction, and we've actually got another verse that we're focusing on. The verse is from Matthew 12, verse 33, and it says, Make a tree good, and its fruit will be good. Or make a tree bad, and its fruit will be bad. That's a bit of a strange saying, isn't it? And what does it have to do with us as people, as friends of Jesus? Well, I've got some little illustrations to help us understand. Here, I've got an apple. And this apple actually grew on a tree in my garden. It's a lovely apple. Okay. If I said to you, where do apples grow? You'd look at me and you'd answer, on an apple tree, of course, like, duh. But if I pointed at a tree and I asked you, what fruit grows on that tree? If you're a gardener or you're keen at looking at trees, you might know from looking just at the tree that it was an apple tree. But when it hasn't got any fruit on it, you might not know what kind of tree it is and you might not immediately be able to say it's an apple tree. The fruit tells us a lot about the tree. And in my garden, we look after our apple tree, or try to quite well. We make sure it's got lots of compost to feed its roots. And if it, we look after it, we water it, make sure when it's dry for a long period of time, it's got lots of water, then it should make lots of lovely fruit like this. And the fruit, when we pick it, we can eat it and we can have some yummy apple crumbles um, and some delicious snacks in our lunchtime um, pat lunches. So that's really good. But imagine if I went to the tree and all the fruit was bad. I'd be wondering what had gone wrong. And imagine if something happened and I damaged, maybe I put a spade through the roots or something. Then the next year I wouldn't get very good apples. And in fact, I might not even get any apples at all. And that would be a sign that the bad roots, something had gone wrong with the roots. Now, Jesus talked about this because he wasn't talking about, we'd look a bit silly, wouldn't we, with bunches of fruit growing off us? Because we don't have fruit like that. We don't have bananas hanging off our elbows or apples on our ears. Um, maybe someone might have apple earrings, I don't know. <laughs> but generally, we don't have fruit growing off us. So he's not really talking about this kind of fruit. He's talking about what's inside us, about our character. And just like good trees that have good roots, go deep into the ground to find water, we as Christians need to have our roots in Jesus. How, what do I mean by that? It means we need to spend time with him in prayer, reading the Bible, getting to know him, and learning how to be the best Christian we can be, how we can be most like him. And then that way, our character will gradually change to be more like Jesus too. Um, and I've got another thing to say about this apple. This apple looks lovely, doesn't it? Really nice rosy bits coming there, it's lovely right. But how would I know really if it was nice? That's right, I'd have to take a bite, wouldn't I? That is. Mmm, and it's really delicious. Mmm. Imagine though, if I bit into it, uh, oh, that was not what I was expecting at all. Oh, oh, it's got, maybe a worm's got in it, and it was all bitter. The only way I can really know is by looking at what's inside the apple. And that's exactly what Jesus was saying. That sometimes on the outside, we might try, we might appear like we're doing the right thing. But he was saying that what's on the inside is more important. And sometimes we make the mistake of thinking that the things we do are more important than who we are. But that's not true. Let me give you an example. If you see an old lady and she needs, she's maybe got lots of shopping bags and she needs some help to go across the road and you've, you've noticed that and you go over to help but only because you think 
it's what your mum and dad want to do or to impress your friend next to you you're not really doing it for the right reason and that would and that wouldn't be a good thing so it was even though you might have done the right thing in your actions it still wouldn't be right inside or you think i know i'm going to wash the car for my dad because he might give me some extra pocket money if i do that you're not really doing it for the right reason and so also although the action is a good action washing the car if you're only doing it for a bad reason it's not really the right thing that jesus would want us to do and that's what we're going to look at in a bit more detail over the coming weeks and that's why they're called the be attitude rather than the do attitude because it's how we are and we have one final example of this in the bible if we think about jesus's friend his disciple judas some of you will automatically, in your brain, have thought, I know what Judas is famous for. Judas is the disciple who actually betrayed Jesus. He's the one who went to the leaders and agreed that if they paid him 30 pieces of silver, he would show them who Jesus was. Now, on the outside, Judas was one of Jesus' best friends. He looked like he did all the right things. He, he went to their meetings. And you would have thought that maybe he was he was a disciple well he was he was listed as a disciple but in the end his true character showed out and that just shows to us that what's inside will always come out in the end i hope that's made sense and i'm going to pray for us now that we will concentrate on being and having good character heavenly father help us to think about the things that we do and say and the reasons why we do and say them and help us to have good character and to develop that by spending time with you, praying and learning about you in your word. Amen. Have a great week, guys.